The Texas-led House has decided to recommend impeachment for their Attorney General, Ken Paxton. Now, this all started with a committee vote. Again, this committee is dominated by Republican lawmakers in the state legislature. And that committee, which is the Committee on General Investigating, did vote in favor of recommending impeachment for Ken Paxton. Now, why would they do that? Apparently, investigators for the committee on Wednesday said that Paxton abused his official capacity, misused official information, and retaliated against whistleblowers who had accused him of corruption in October of 2020. Paxton settled the corruption lawsuit with four former aides in February for a whopping $3.3 million, a sum that Paxton had sought to pay using taxpayer money. And apparently that's part of the issue as well. The Texas legislature balked at using public funds to pay that settlement. Now the investigators also said, according to the Washington Post, that Paxton had pressured the open records division in his office to help a donor and a friend. A guy by the name of Nate Paul in his legal fight with a nonprofit group in Austin. And in exchange for that help, Investigators are alleging that Paul helped with a floor to ceiling renovation at Paxton's home and employed a woman with whom Paxton allegedly had an extramarital affair. Okay, so um, this is shocking that a Republican led House. What's happening today? I mean, what's going on? What is what, happening today? Yeah, so because earlier in the show, we did a story about the treasurer for CPAC, the main right wing conference, uh, turning on them and saying, I think they're misusing money. He stepped down and in okay. his resignation letter accused the organization of misusing funds, yeah. So that's two times in the same day that Republicans are being principled and about corruption and misusing money? Like that's that's the most shocking news I've ever but seen. But you know what, I will allow it. Oh, Are you kidding me? I love it. Okay, so great, yeah. credit where credit is due. So guys, look, you know, I kid around about how we're the fairest show in America, but we kinda are because like, so everybody falls into their camps. Oh, no, we can't ever give the Republicans credit. No, when they do the right thing, I'm happy to give them credit. Why not, right? Now, could there be an ulterior motive? Say it with me. Oh, of course. So I'm gonna give you one possible theory, but I don't care. You do the right thing, I still give you credit no matter why you did it. Uh, but for Mediate, this week, Paxton himself called for the resignation of Texas House Speaker Dade Phelan, who is, of course, a Republican. After Phelan appeared to speak while intoxicated on the House floor. But he he did appear to be intoxicated on the House floor. No, no, 100%. But but could Phelan have caught feelings that Paxton called him out for being drunk? And Maybe. all of a sudden, boom, Paxton finds himself under a bus. But it's not boom. Again, that's just one particular theory because apparently they had been investigating him for a while. Yes. They might have decided to go public now because of the diss on the speaker, right, who controls everything in the House. That's how a lot of the state legislatures work, okay? So maybe he decided to release it because of that, but they were investigating him earlier anyway. Exactly, they might ultimately have decided that Paxton is too much of a political liability. So for instance, in September of 2020, a Texas judge had ordered Paxton to sit for a deposition about accusations of securities fraud. I mean, this guy has all sorts of pretty terrible dirt and accusations like following him around. And ultimately maybe the Texas Republicans are like, do we really wanna like root for this guy? Do we wanna protect and provide cover for this guy? Um, despite the indictment and a litany, a litany of investigations, Texas voters ended up voting in favor of um, electing him. And they did so, they elected him to a third term as Attorney General uh, in 2022. And so, yeah, I'm very curious to see how this all plays out. If they do go through with attempting to impeach him, that would require a two thirds majority in both the state house and state senate. And that's a difficult you know, wow. threshold to pass. So we'll see if that actually comes through. But to see a Republican dominated committee within the state legislature, the House in Texas specifically, recommend impeachment for Ken Paxton. That is a big deal and we'll see how it develops. I have one more theory, it's, it's definitely it's stretching it. But so look, uh, nobody's harsher against Republican voters in all of media than me, uh, including earlier in this show uh, when I was livid about the violence that they're pushing. Uh, but I even in my book, I wrote about the one good thing about Republican voters is they hate corruption. 
And so uh, they genuinely hate it. Now, they don't often show it because they'll give their money to Donald Trump and let him just take it, right? And not actually help Republicans with it, the Steve Bannon, etc. But they ran on drain, the, Trump ran on drain the swamp because he knows Republican voters hate politicians who steal our money, okay? So maybe Republicans have caught wise to that and are like, hey, our voters don't really like this. And Republicans are way more responsive to their base than we are. The Democrat, you know, the left side, the Democrats, etc. Certainly the Democrats. They don't they, they don't care about their base at all. So maybe they're they're beginning to respond and actually not tolerate some corruption. But that again, it's it's a fun little theory here, but I wouldn't go to the bank with that one because the Republican Party has a very, very long history of corruption and, and their politicians generally love it. So we'll see, but it is a good development today. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.